Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. This was four-year-old Chloe Darnell. And a tragedy occurred in Kentucky. Two caretakers did something very, very horrible to Chloe. Again, Kentucky case. So we're going to talk about what's going on in Kentucky because two people have been arrested. And we're going to talk about this, right? According to Fox News, according to Fox News, missing Kentucky girl, four years old, found murdered as suspects close to her accused of deadly betrayal. So ter uh, so sad because once again, another lost child, another child that will never be able to grow up because people that were around her did something very, very bad. And we keep seeing this over and over throughout the United States. Brittany Slaughter and her boyfriend Adam Hayes were charged with murder and abuse of corpse after a body believed to be Chloe Darnell was recovered. Now let me show you the two mug shots of these individuals right here. What's really bad about Kentucky is these mug shots, it, these particular two mug shots are not very good quality mug shots. It's like they're grainy and old. Uh, maybe Kentucky should get modernized in these county jails and, and get, you know, good photography so we can see the images of these defendants more clearly. Well, let's continue to talk about what happened here because Kentucky police announced Friday that they have arrested the cousin of a missing four-year-old girl and her boyfriend after finding what they believe to be the child's body. Although four-year-old Chloe Darnell was last seen in September, relatives told police she was not reported missing until days ago, per a Friday press release from the Whiteley County Sheriff's Department. Is that Whitley or Whiteley? Whitley or Whiteley County Sheriff's Department in Kentucky. Brittany Slaughter, she's 24, so that one of the mugshots there, she's 24, had custody of the girl. Now she and her 34-year-old boyfriend, Adam Hayes, so the other guy is 34, she was 24, so he was 10 years older than her. Both face uh, charges of murder, abuse of corpse, and tampering with physical evidence. The condition that Darnell's body was found in is unclear. Darnell's body has been sent to the state medical examiner's office in Frankfort, Kentucky for an autopsy and positive identification. When the department first encountered their investigation on Tuesday, so last week, Tuesday, both Slaughter and Darnell were considered missing persons. The next day, the department posted photos of a 2009 Red Mitsubishi Lancer that Brittany Slaughter may have been operating prior to her disappearance. Let's read on. Now here's these two people. Here's these two criminal defendants charged with what they did to this poor, innocent, four-year-old girl. That vehicle was found on Thursday. Investigators wrote in an update reporting that Slaughter's status and welfare reported as unharmed. At 4 a.m. this morning, Slaughter was arrested and booked. She was booked. Hayes was booked earlier on Thursday evening per jail records, facing additional charges of felon in possession of a firearm, possession of marijuana, and trafficking in heroin. So he's also charged with drug-related crimes and possession of firearm as a felon. These two bad people I don't know how this little girl got in the hands of these bad people. Slaughter, 24, Slaughter. That's, that's her last name, Slaughter. The irony, right? Additional criminal charges against both Slaughter and Hayes are pending. Slaughter's total bond is listed at $1.5 million. Hayes must post the amount plus 105 for additional offenses for pretrial release. Both are scheduled to be arraigned on Monday. So we don't know actual details at this time on how this little girl got into this cousin's hands. 
and why from September all the way up to just last week she wasn't reported or her own family not reporting her missing. That's kind of odd to me. But looking into this case, again, you know, is DCF or DCS or the CPS, the different agencies, were they involved with this little girl prior? Um, how did this little girl get into the hands of this 24-year-old, and we'll call her a monster on JLR Investigates? Last name Slaughter. That's her last name. Involved with the 34-year-old, and they did something very, very bad to this little girl. But we don't know the circumstances yet, but we will continue to look into this. We say no to anyone that does anything bad to children on JLR Investigates. It's a very sad situation. And once again, this keeps happening in this country. Now in Kentucky, what happened with this case? If you know any information, uh, please contact authorities that can help them uh, build a case against those two. And if you want to talk about this case or you have some insight, um, leave you know, in the comments. Comment and leave what you know or what you've heard about this case or what I'm missing out so you can share with everyone. We're going to bring awareness to our children out there, um, victims in this case. It's just a tragedy. JLR Investigates, I, we will talk soon. Stay tuned.